creative living. Utilizing today's technology with the best of the past to bring you innovative ideas and up-to-date information for creative lifestyles in today's active world. With your host, Cheryl Borden. Cheryl, thank you so much for being here. I love fabric and I love new sewing notions and I, I always enjoy learning a new technique. I don't always have time to practice it as long oh, as it's time, obvious yeah. you did, but how did you get involved in, in sewing, quilting, this oh, line? I was blessed with a wonderful mother who, who let me sit down and just play on our sewing machine when uh -huh. I was in third grade. And I love machines, and I just have been sewing yeah. ever since. And I, I love fabric, too. <laughs> well, I kind of had the same, same experience. Aren't oh. we lucky? Yeah, very, yeah. very fortunate. <laughs> and there's so many new notions, new machines on the market today that oh, making anything seems is, is just fascinating. And yes. what we're, you're going to show us, and I have to admit, this looks extremely difficult to me. <laughs> I'm not a quilter. I enjoy the process, but I do love the fabric selection part of it. Oh, yeah. So tell us a little about this and how you created it. Well, the, the thing that challenges me in what I do is I like to make things that are complex looking, but the fun part is how to make that so that, you know, I, I like to make tools, innovative uh -huh. tools for the creative quilter. Oh. And so I try to make something like this, but I want to show you just how easy it is. Gosh, it's just beautiful. Well, this is you. a table runner, obviously. It's a table runner. Uh -huh. Well, the key to it is this special tool, and yes, this is that's called right. a Simple Curves. That's right, Simple uh -huh. Curves. And it's uh, just a cutting tool. Uh, the front of the of the of the booklet look shows us some of the things. In fact, this is your design right here on the front. That's right. <laughs> and uh, it, it really it's A B C and one two three all the way through. Isn't Absolutely. It? Uh -huh. So you get the pattern when you buy the tool. You get the pattern for that. So you've this done the, the hard work for us. I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> and so tell us how to select fabric. That's that's always fascinating. I think. That's probably my weakest area. I have, I love it all, so it's uh -huh. hard to decide which ones when I, which ones I want to put in there. You can see on the selection I've made here, I'm working basically with greens, mm -hmm. but I have three different values uh -huh. here, and um, oh, they're not oh, a strong uh -huh. contrast, but a subtle contrast, so that I can get that undulating wave that uh -huh. I want there. Yes, I can see how, especially in the one that you have made, this not a solid of course there's no solids in it but you're right the different patterns of yeah. the same color family uh -huh, just same okay color so pick five pick that's, five that's what we want uh -huh. to work with so we take two of our five and we sew these together oh and just make side by side just uh -huh. like we would do uh -huh. in quilting quarter inch seam quarter inch seam press it uh -huh. open okay okay and then we're going to cut a um a piece out of there and this, this is, is the tool, the tool. Mm -hmm. you notice I've put little sticky dots on the back that helps it from slipping oh and now I, are these available in a in a no yes sewing in store? a notion store I need there's to several get different that. types but they're wonderful, wonderful. they're uh -huh. wonderful um, you notice that the strip sets are exactly Perfect. the width of the tool uh -huh. that's what's been playing for you the way I hold my hands when I cut it is to give equal pressure and then just slide it around it's a very gentle curve, mm -hmm. so it's easy to cut and easy to sew. Now, in my sewing studio, I can move side to side, uh -huh. so I get kind of aerobic <laughs> cutting there. Uh, and then you're just going to cut the other side of the, uh -huh. of the arc. And we do, for people who might be new to a rotary cutting, you do use a special mat and you do use a special cutter, Absolutely. not your dining room table. No, okay. that wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> right. Okay, and then we sew another um, strip set together which are the other remaining three. Oh, uh -huh. And we're going to cut an And again, arc out it's of there. the same. And you perfect. notice we've got one cut uh -huh. here. And here's our first one. Okay. And you cut both and you just go through and cut as many as, as, as the instructions many as you, tell you. The instructions it. tell you. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take the one that has three pieces. Mm -hmm. We're going to fold it in half and just give it a little pinch. That lets us know where that oh, the center. center front or center. Uh -huh, okay. And you'll notice when you and I are looking at these, these are both frowning. Uh -huh. um, we're going to turn the top one over so it smiles at us at and the match centers. the center oh. and center. Mm -hmm. And we'll put a pin in there. We'll bring this corner down. They match exactly. Now this reminds me of when I learned to sew and we always had to run that basting stitch around the sleeve uh -huh. to make it fit. Well, but you know, our bodies are curved. 
we're trying to get it to lay flat. So oh, that should be easier. Yeah, it's much easier. <laughs> much easier. After years of setting in sleeves on Barbie doll clothes, uh -huh. I decided I'd rather quilt. It's yeah. <laughs> I just finished flats. doing that. I can relate yes, to that. Okay. Okay. So now I have my piece and look at how funny it, that I'm looks. I'm wondering how you're how going this, to make could that this possibly fit? work, but it does. Because it was designed so that the distance a quarter of an inch in on in on both pieces exactly the same. When I sew, all I have to focus is sewing between the two pins. Uh -huh. So I drop my presser foot and adjust it for exact quarter inch seams. And notice I just take this uh -huh. hand. You're not really stretching anything, you're just holding it taut. Yeah, you're just bringing those two raw edges together, correct. Mm -hmm. um, by doing this, mm -hmm. and hold it all the way. Okay. On the side. You'll go around there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I do have one that's already been sewn right here. Oh, it does lie flat. Now this, you're not pressing that. Oh, I see, you're pressing Those it. Those uh, all go pressed. Or one direction. That fabric's going to tell you which way it wants to okay. go. Okay. Don't yeah, fight I with it. I would assume it, yeah, you couldn't go this way because it just there's doesn't extra seem to want to. Yeah, it okay. just wants to go mm -hmm. that direction. Perfect. And you're just going to continue to make pairs and sew your pairs together. Keep sewing them together until uh -huh. you have a, a column. strip or column mm -hmm. uh -huh. like this and then we'll make a second one here's our two columns now you could make a design like this but I find it more interesting to flip oh, the it wave to get the wave I see uh -huh. and you'll notice that our colors when they come together our fabrics are different mm -hmm. um, we do that back in the strip setting strip set sewing um, we're going to go in opposite directions, so we get mirror images. That's how you did it. Yes. Okay. And sew those so together. So this will just be a quarter inch seam. We'll sew this side. Uh huh. And then the this this what we're looking at right now is the exact size of what you made here in this it sure table is. runner. It sure is. Okay. When we we just can continue to to add these Build columns it. on uh -huh. as long as you want. It can be a table runner, but it could also be a bed runner. So oh. you can make it longer if you'd like. Uh huh. Whatever you'd like to do. Then you're just going to take your top and layer it with batting and backing and bind it with a bias mm -hmm. strip. And the bias strip will work beautifully along these curved edges. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. It'll just blend right in there. And then did you do this? This is all done by machine, isn't it? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I do free motion quilting. Uh-huh. Got some floral That's designs beautiful. in there. So you mentioned the, the bed runner, uh, table runner. What are some of the other things we could do with this? Oh, there's so many things you can do with this tool. It's really fun. I've made... Um, double wedding ring quilts oh, uh -huh. and I've also brought a quilt to show you and we this call it, was made with the same pattern it was made wow. with the same tool oh uh-huh and which is this one's called simple harmony yes and it's called simple harmony because we're going to make one square and by the way we slice it we end up with two totally different blocks oh so all the colors coordinate but the blocks look different they look totally different and then this has tons of machine quilting on this. Yes, this it probably does, took a while it? to do. <laughs> yeah, didn't my it? friend Becky quilted that one uh -huh. for me. So. Well, this is amazing, and to think it all starts with the the simple curve, something that I may have seen in the store, not known what to do with it. So you of just look I at it; you it. don't know what it is. Uh -uh. It, it's just kind of a secret. We just <laughs> keep that secret, but inside it's a great tells secret. You what to do. Well, thank you very much, Cheryl. I really appreciate you being here today. Oh, thank you, Cheryl.